what's going on guys today we have a different kind of video well not really different on the channel but a change of pace from the suspect laddering uh, today we have the SPL's finals match between Steve Angelo and I am Genji and Steve is on the Sharks I am Genji is on the Classius and this match is actually very pivotal for the series because I think the Sharks are up 4-3 so if Genji wins this he ties it up if Steve wins this he gives his team a little bit more cushion so they can get the trophy as you know, first team the seven wins, and if they end up tying 6-6, six, six, uh, they have to do the tiebreaker where they choose their three tiers, I think. One of them has to be Oris, I believe, and then they choose the other two, I think, for the tiebreaker. But yeah, that's going to be what's going down right now. They both have pretty cool teams. Um, I am Gigi Rock and Mega Slowbro. Steve Angelo's got the Mega Meta Girls got Hooper right there, and... Uh, could, it could be dangerous, but if that Weavile is Pursuit, it could, it could definitely uh, take advantage of it, Dark Spamming. Um, I'm not sure if it would run Pursuit on this team. I don't, it doesn't really need a reason to trap Lottie's or Starmie's, really, because he has the Pharaoh Thorn. But, uh, and Lottie can come in on them pretty easily, so I don't think he would have Pursuit on his Weavile. So, Steve Angelo just leads off with the Rotomosh as Gigi leads off with the Latios. Um, don't expect Steve to stay in with the Rotom. It's not that useful this game, I don't think. I mean, I guess, I guess Will Wisp and things is really good. Um, if Gigi just wants to, he could just Draco. As uh, I don't expect Steve to stay in. I don't think he would go to Metagross also because it would take a lot from Draco, because once it doesn't evolve, its bulk is not as good as it would be as it would be in a uh, Mega Form. So I'm guessing like Heatran come out. Um, oh, as uh, Genji does pull a double, as <laughs> he did stay in the go for a pain split. Genji knew. Genji knew. So uh, maybe a little swamp will o wisp here. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's what they would do about now. Right now, I don't think anyone has a clear-cut advantage. I can see Genji's late, like a late game Mega Slow Grow Sweep, and um, if uh, Steve Angelo is able to get rid of the Weavile, uh, I believe his um, Hoopa could put in a ton of work against Genji's team. Like a ton of work. Nothing really Okos it right out. Okos it, and it just it, and it just punishes everything on the team. Uh, Metagross is pretty much useless with the Slowbro there and Rotom and Ferrothorn. <laughs> if it doesn't have a uh, Hammer Arm, Heatran could put in some work if it has Toxic possibly to whittle down the Slowbro and Rotom Wash. And it could also hit Latios, of course. Um, so both players are taking their time. As I said, this is the finals, so they want to play properly. They don't want to make any misplays because this game is very crucial. Uh, I mean, if they want moments, I guess one of them could just fold switch out. Okay, so Genji goes for the Wisp as Steve Angelo decides to just go for momentum over the Will Wisp play. And uh, he does get the crit on the Rotom. So I'm guessing Hoopa would come out here. Hoopa's nice. He can also go into his Latios to drop a Draco. But Latios has too many answers to us. Hoopa doesn't really have that many answers to as well. So that's why I'm thinking Hoopa would come out here but like I said I don't, I don't see a reason for him to run pursuit on the Weavile because like, he handles the Lotties very well with these two maybe like Starmies it would have pursuit for um, he might have pursuit because he is very weak to Hoopa so if he does have pursuit I guess we can go into he can go to Weavile afterwards and I guess I don't know if pursuit would kill Hoopa though at if it's not at minus one. So I guess we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to that point. So Hoopa's inside, pretty much a free Dark Pulse. His Dark Resist is, in fact, Weavile. <laughs> so, yeah, the Hoopa's inside. Genji's got to pick what he wants to go into. I'm pretty sure everything on his team just gets to it KO'd by this monster. So this is why the Hoopa is being suspect as it, like, this team does not handle it well. I don't know if I can really blame 
but for that, it just doesn't have a great switch into it. I guess you can call this balance more than bulky offense. This doesn't really seem, I guess you can call it bulky offense, but it seems more of a balanced type team. And this is the issue with Hoopa. <laughs> that is the issue with Hoopa. That's why it's being suspect tested. Um, so yeah, Dark Bolt's coming in. I guess Jinji's got to think about what's least useful or See, his Rotom helps with the Heatran, it helps with Lando, it helps with Metagross, but so does Slowbro. Slowbro kind of helps with all those, but like I said, if the Heatran does carry Toxic, it's very problematic for the Slowbro, as I would think that he would want a late game sweep with that. Um, Weavile can also late game sweep if Heatran gets weakened, gets a little bit of damage off the Metagross, hoping that it's not. Bullet Punch, of course, knocks off this, knocks off this. I short Icicle Crash, knock off on the Rotom Wash as well. So he'd need a lot more damage on the other Mons. And that takes... But he's going to need damage with Slowbro as well. So he sacks the Latios. Okay. So Latios goes down and he's minus defense. So we don't see Life Orb. And if... <laughs> People are saying 50-50. I don't know. I think he just goes directly into Weavile. Um, if he stays in, I think he dies even if he stays in. Does he not? I'm guessing he doesn't. I don't know the calc. I would calc it right now, but I don't want to miss it. <laughs> so I'm guessing, I'm assuming he wins. I don't really trust the chat sometimes because they say crazy things. But I feel like Pursuit would kill even if he didn't switch. But he is at full. Um. Let's see. Assume that he does live if he stays in. So uh, let's assume it is a 50 50. So it's either he knocks off. I mean, knock off, knocking off is Jinji's safest play. But like I said, then the hoop is still alive. And that's just problematic for the for Jinji. But he, we see that it's not it's not like special hoop. But it's not like the life orb set doesn't have it can't switch up moves. So it is slightly easier to deal with in a sense. Um, so we'll see what Steve wants to do if he wants to keep Zupa in or take it out hoping that he's not Pursuit Weavile which I, like I said he's, he is pretty weak to Hoopa so he might be Pursuit and he is at minus defense so we will okay so he just knocks off so the Hoopa's gone and uh, so Jinji gets to play right if it was a 50-50 Jinji eliminates a huge threat Hoopa, Hoopa was humongous like it would, it would have done so well against um, IMGD's team. Um, so that's gone. We don't see any items on the Weavile as well. So it's this Bandit Weavile. <laughs> so he brings in his um, Landorus as he just gets up his rocks on a Rotom switch. Rotom can honestly... See, it's just going for a Volt Switch or Hydro Pump if he just wants to attack what's in front of him. Um, with the Hoopa being gone, Slowbro slowly coming into way of sweeping. I guess the last thing he needs to get rid of is the Rotom to just avoid being status. Uh, Latios. Uh, Latios, I don't think it can take on um, Slowbro once it's mega. Uh... So he does go into his Rotom Wash as Jinji just goes for the Volt Switch, keeping up momentum. I'm expecting like Fiat Ferrothorn to come in and this is the best thing to threaten the Rotom out. I'm not sure if he has Power Whip, so oh, he misses the Will-O-Wisp as he gets up his rocks, so okay. Um, the miss sucks because that means he just wasted a turn, so he has to go for Will-O-Wisp again. And I'm guessing Jinji's probably just going to... So he has rocks on Ferrothorn, Heatran, what is it, like a stall breaking Heatran then? Rocks. I think he has dual, I doubt he has dual hazards though, so. Especially since he had Lottie. So I'm guessing he just has rocks. So he should have an attacking move on the Rotom, I mean on the Ferrothorn. I feel like he should have Power Whip. I think it's weird to have Stealth Rocks and Spikes on a Ferrothorn. He could have it, but um, I, I feel like it's not likely. Maybe even a leech seed coming out here. Oh yeah, so he does have power whip. So yeah, that miss was pretty huge for Steve Angelo. 
I don't think he would try to save it. Okay, so he does decide to save it. Um, probably going to Trand on the on the Power Whip. As he does go into Trand, uh, he just goes for the safe Power Whip. Was the safest play. He lost nothing by it. We see no item on the E Trand. So, Power Herb maybe? Magma Storm Power Herb, which could nab a kill. Actually, that set's really good if it's Power Herb. I mean, Magma Storm Power Herb. Um, but we also don't know what Gen G's heat trend is. So, I mean, his safest play is just Magma Storm and gets damage off on everything. But he also gets a Flash Fire boosted heat trend, which could be Scarf. I mean, I highly doubt it. I feel like it's, it's probably Magma Storm, Taunt, Toxic Earth Power as well. So, if he does give that boost, he um, has to decide whether he wants a Speed Tire or not. So, it's going to be interesting. Um, could go to Rotom too. Rotom is also Jinji, a play for Jinji to make as he doesn't have anything to I feel like this could be um, solar beam like what does he call it the um goes for flamethrower okay so he's not the trapping set so I doubt he has solar beam then I highly believe that he's gonna go for earthquake let's see okay so he just goes to Lando okay yeah Aggressive play plays off for him, so he has leftovers. Tran, Earth Power still doesn't really tell us much about the Heat Tran. Um, okay, so he goes into Rotom, and Steve Angelo keeps up momentum with the nice U-turn, nice whittling down the Rotom. Uh, let's see, I don't know how he's gonna. Okay, so he goes into to Lottie. My thing is like, how does he threaten the Rotom? Like, he has so many switches to the, the Lottie. So I can see Steve pulling a nice double. Uh, 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 uh. I can see him pulling a double, and Gigi possibly pulling a double into his either Ferrothorn or or he train. I don't know if he wants to stay in and risk his Rotom here. Knowing that if if Jinji's thinking I have two solid switch ins, there's no way he's staying in, he's gonna double. Jinji could just stay in and um, bolt switch on what most likely would be Heatran. Possibly. Okay, so yeah, he did pull a double. Let's see, okay, so he didn't stay in. Uh, okay, so yeah, he pulls a double to Heatran once more as the Rotom Wash comes in and Steve gets the U turn. Steve is playing this very well right now to put himself in position to win and the meta gross is inside and he can honestly he could just uh, zen headbutt or hammer arm if he wants I just don't know if Jinji would try to save the Rotom and go into his slow bro. I mean, it's always good to save sacks instead of just sacking mons if you have answers to the mons that are in front of you. So, I mean, I can see him pulling the double to slow bro. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so he decides to just sack the Rotom off and he has Thunder Punch. Ooh, <laughs> oh. Just letting him know that your slow bro is not beating me. So, okay, so this Metagross actually just became a huge threat a huge threat um, but I think I don't know if Ferrothorn can take a I don't really use Metagross much so I don't know the calcs I'm pretty sure Hammer might kill Heatran if it's bulky possibly not Weavile can't kill Metagross um, but he does have to keep his Metagross healthy so I, that's that's one thing I don't think Hammer Arm can kill Ferrothorn either um, so he actually goes into the slow bro maybe to bait the T-Punch because he's not going to take this well especially with rocks being up and he doesn't have recovery I'm pretty sure it's a 2 and KO with rocks Thunder Punch is because I know the sets where you can run Grass Knot or T-Punch T-Punch is used to hit Slow Bros a bit harder and I think with the rocks up it definitely is a 2 and KO so I think that's an interesting play uh, maybe he wants to bait him into T-Punch so he can double into his Ferrothorn to get some damage off on the Metagross to weaken it. But I don't know. 
Well, I guess he didn't have much of a choice though, because if he, he could still have diamond, I mean bullet punch, and that would kill Weavile. Um, Hammer Arm beats these two, so Metagross is actually a problem for Gigi. Um, so yeah, he did a great, I mean Thunder Punch on this was a great choice, otherwise this mod would have gave him so much trouble. <laughs> I'm guessing Steve's uh, wondering if he wants to save, wants to risk it. I, I probably could count because the, they're taking their times and uh, I understand that they don't want to lose the match. That is very important for them. Let's see. Okay, Steve's still thinking. Hopefully they have this in the count. My gross. Slow bro. Let's just say calm line. And yeah, if he stays regular, I'm pretty sure it does a lot more. Thunder Punch. Does about that much. Let's see if he Megas. Say so it is to a KO. Let's see if he Megas. Oh, you can't mind. Okay, it does nothing if he Megas. Okay, so he did do a play where he <laughs> wanted to bait the, the, um, the T-Punch. But I think that kind of puts him in Hammer Arm range at this moment, though. Unless he pivots back out into the slow bro and then pivots again to the Ferrothorn. I don't know. And plus, like, he has Lottie to just healing wish this thing back up. Okay, so, but we do know that uh, Mega Bro takes Thunder Punch very easily, so it's a 3 of KO, I think. Yeah. And a 61% chance of 3 of KO. He Thunder Punched again. I don't know why he. <laughs> why would you over predict there? I guess he was assuming that he was just gonna like try to switch, try to switch, um, stall him a bit and then try to get more damage off. But like you have healing with Lottie. Now he's like kind of like in a position where you gotta click hammer arm and he can definitely just pull it. Even if he does get the Thunder Punch plate, like Slowbro has regenerator. Huh. Okay, so. Steve just pulls a double out as the slow road does come in. Yeah, so he was trying to, I mean, to plunder saying GG to God, but it's like, there's no way he wouldn't go for the Thunder Punch again. There's no way he would Thunder Punch there again. Like, <laughs> he made the aggressive play. <laughs> I don't think he would have. Um, but even if he did, he could just always switch back out to Ferrothorn. It wasn't like a losing position for Jinji. So the slow bro is in. Uh, so he switches out, so I'm guessing he's not left, I'm guessing he's not, um, Solar Beam Tran, as Genji pulls a double into the Heat Tran, ooh, now that double was nice, that double was nice, <laughs> all that residual damage, so right now, um, Steve has lost all the momentum, like, that, that's the thing about that prediction, he lost all the momentum just trying to make that play there, um, but if he gets this play here, if he like earthquakes on if predicting to stay in or U turns on his switch, he get the momentum back on his side. So this turn is gonna be crucial in that regard. So let's see. see Slowbro enter as Steve just goes for the U-turn, which is, I mean, goes for the Earthquake, which is fine because uh, Slowbro is going to be forced to, to um, saw bolt it up, unless he's feeling like, <laughs> I, I mean, he's kind of forced to, to saw bolt, Cause let's say the Metagross runs some crazy set Thunder Punch <laughs> pursuit, <laughs> like we only know one move from the Metagross. So the Rotom's in, which is pretty good because it kind of gives not really momentum because you can Slowbro can just um, slide bull it up if he wants to will o -Wisp, however. Actually, GG is in a position because if he saw bulls on a will o -Wisp, that could be problematic for his Slowbro. So I don't think he would risk it. I think he would either go to to Tran or Ferrothorn because I doubt there's no way Steve is going to Hydro Pump here. There's no way, unless he's a lord and <laughs> Hydro 
drops Heatran on the switch. But I think it'd be a bad play if Genji stayed in with Slowbro. And if he does get this burn, Metagross is going to have an easier time taking care of it. Um, especially, no, he's not healing up leftovers. He's going to be taking burn every turn, including with Thunder Punch. Okay, yeah, so he does go into Weavile. Uh, he goes for Pain Split. <laughs> so yeah, he does make the play into Lando. We're probably going to see a knockoff here. And that does... So yeah, Rocky Helmet. So yeah... Just knocks off again, so it is most likely banded. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah, the Weavile can't come back in. The Weavile can't come back in, so he goes into his Metagross. I'm guessing it does have Bullet Punch. It does have Bullet Punch, it takes out the Weavile. Weavile is gone, that's good for the Metagross. That was the only thing that outsped it, besides being locked into Hammer Arm at minus one. He might not even have Hammer Arm. He could be Earthquake. So I expect either Slowbro or Ferrothorn to come out. We even go to Ferrothorn uh, to pivot into Slowbro to kind of scout his set, force him to reveal other moves. And he, anyway, even if he doesn't reveal another move, it's most likely he would go to Tran if Ferrothorn comes in anyways. And Slowbro would still be in a good position. So I, I can see Genji pulling that there. I think that's Genji's best play. Just going to Ferrothorn doubling the bro. Unless <laughs> it is very obvious. I mean, that, it seems, to me it's kind of obvious, so maybe Steve might make a play on that and T-Punch. But I don't think he needs to be real aggressive at this point. Okay, he, d he goes directly into Mega Slow, bro. Um, well, okay. So now... Steve has to decide whether he wants to just go straight for the T-Bolt. Maybe he's going to pull that same play where he doubles into his um, uh, Ferrothorn here. Maybe the I Am Genji is. But if he does stay in, he's going to have to... He would have to Mega Evolve. Maybe he'll just try to fish for a burn the first time and then pivot. He could also do that without Mega Evolving. So, I mean, Genji has a bunch of plays that he could do um, that could put him in a favorable position. Like I was saying, so yeah, so right now you can either just scald, stay regular form, scald, try to get a burn, pivot off, it doesn't get the burn, or just go hard into Ferrothorn right now. Um, that's what I can see him doing. Steve could pull the same play by going into the Rotom again. And, uh, because I don't think, slow, he wouldn't ever stay in with Slow Room because he can't afford to get any type of status on the Slow Room. So then he could also just freely paint split, plain split up. Okay, so he does decide to mega, and he's gonna take this very easily. Goes for the calm mind, and he can't be critted, so might be time. And this is why slow, bro. Yeah, even with T punch, like Stink was still gonna win. I thought this was always his winning con, so we're just gonna see a slack off here. Um, I think this just wins. <laughs> I love I love Calm Mind Slowbro. I haven't used a Mega Calm Mind Slowbro though. I've used regular Calm Mind Slowbro. Um, okay, so let's see if he goes Rotom. Okay, he does go Rotom, and he should slack off here. That's a good play. Um, I think he can afford to. I don't think he's gonna stay in with Slowbro. He can't afford to. So I think Pain Split's a fine play. I think you can even take a plus one. Okay, yeah, he does stay in with the Slowbro, which I don't know about that one. Okay, so now he's just gonna Will O Wisp here um, to weaken the Slowbro a bit. Um, maybe plus two might be able to kill Metagross. So he just goes for the Slack off as he's back up to some a considerable amount of health. Steve's gonna have to play this very, let's see, very well. Skull, I don't think Skull would be doing anything. Psyshock's gonna start be doing a lot once he gets like to plus three. I think plus two might even do a lot too because Slowbro has a very good um, sp attack at this level. So Steve just Volt switches out. Um, maybe he'll go into to Lottie. Lottie's like the most useless right now. But I don't know if he wants to healing wish up the Metagross right now. So he goes directly into Metagross. 
on the size shock and he eats it up. Okay, that's a good play. So now you can just click Thunder Punch. Okay, that was a good play. I was like, what at first, but then like it just ate. <laughs> so if he T punches here, like. I don't know. I don't think he could afford to stay in Genji because he's going to be wasting so many um, slack offs right now. So Steve can just click Thunder Punch. Uh, yeah, spam T Punch till it gets low. Or it's going to, it's eventually just going to waste a bunch of its slack off. It's already used three. And if he goes to Ferro Thorn, you just go back out the Heat Tram. So this is a good position for uh, Steve right now. Steve's playing very well. They. He goes for Meteor Mash, trying to get the... <laughs> Lord, that is like, oh my gosh. How does he do it? He knew. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> oh my goodness. He gets the attack boost. I was like, what, what the hell? I was, like, I was like, what the hell is he doing? So now, uh, it's going to be doing about like 45% that Thunder Punch is... I'm guessing his main concern right now is just forcing the slow bro out, even if he does go into the Ferrothorn on the T Bunch. And uh, Genji is staying in, trying to get that burn. So now the slow bro is done. And uh, yeah, he loses. I'm pretty sure Genji loses. Steve Angelo, oh my goodness. That was a Lord play, dude. <laughs> that was a Lord play, the Meteor match, but oh my goodness. So yeah, now you just go to Rotoman. Just uh, bolt switch out. The slow bro is done for. Oh, man. Yeah, that was oh, that meteor match play. I mean, if it didn't work out, I'd probably be saying, "Well, wow, that was a bad play." I, it, it's it's nice because it worked out for him. So he goes in a ferrothorn as he just bolt switches out. Um, he trans is gonna be inside now. Um, hmm. If it is Choice Scarf Heatran, actually, Slowbro dies to rocks. So, okay, yeah, he's fine to just click Flamethrower. It'd be nice if he's not um, Scarf, but we don't know much about the Tran here. Uh, hmm. His last move should be Jaro Ball. He could be running T-Wave if he feels like he's too slow. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if the trans scarf or not, so uh if it's scar okay, so the ferret thorn does go down. So let's see, yeah, it's pretty much game. Um crazy dude as uh, it's magma storm so I'm guessing he is scarf trend then okay and uh, we just see an earth power if this dies to rocks I think earth power should kill this if it's that set it should just die yeah so he was scarf trend and slow dies to rocks so Steve Angelo is gonna win that means these sharks are now up if I was uh, Jinji, I'd be pissed too. The luck of that, dude. That was so lucky. But he, like I said, it was a great play too, though. But it was so lucky. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be it. The Sharks are up 5-3 now. So, that sucks because I want Blender to win. But I also want Case Victory to win too. So, I think CTC is also on the Sharks. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.